Adolfo Canal, you're the design coordinator at Alinghi Red Bull Racing. First of all, congratulations on such a spectacularly beautiful boat. You must be very pleased with it. Yeah, yeah. So we're very pleased, very proud as well. It was a huge team effort. And uh, yeah, now we're into commissioning, so it's also uh, nice to get into this, this stage of the campaign. What were the criteria that you um, identified, the key criteria, when you were coming up with a design for Barcelona, for a, a Louis Vuitton series and hopefully an America's Cup series in, in Barcelona? Yeah, it's a good question because uh, we've been here for two years, so we came here to find out w what are those uh, typical Barcelona conditions and, and the, really the answer is that you can get a bit of everything here in Barcelona. So really the design brief was, uh, was pretty broad. It, you know, the, the sea state is a classic for sure, but uh, the sea state is never the same. The, 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 the angle of uh, the, you know, the direction of the waves, the period and, uh, and the height is always changing. And then it depends if you have the sea breeze or if you have uh, you know, some sort of pressure, uh, you know, low pressure system coming. The, the wind changes a lot, so we did have to consider a uh, wide variety of conditions, and uh, that made the design uh, a bit more tricky, but also more interesting for us. I have to ask you about the bulges on the foredeck. I've asked a couple of people. Oh, yeah. um, is this about Venturi effect, or is this is something else? No, this is this is a, an, an aero feature that we we think is interesting, and uh, we we pretty much optimized every single millimeter of this boat so that's another another optimization we've done now you were out on the chase boat today watching it was very light winds for the for the day would you say that was um, race conditions <laughs> or, or below well we we had that discussion in the chase boat all day long I think it's I think it's just there just just uh, marginal for racing and uh, and that made the day very very uh, good for us in terms of learnings and, and get to know the, the boat in that sort of conditions, which maybe there's 50% chances that uh, there's racing. It's pretty clear that the new generation of AC 75s, lighter, more powerful, they are able to, to take off reasonably comfortably in, in those conditions. Yes. That must have been pleasing today for you and yes. the sailors. Yes, yes, well, in fact, this is the first time we, we foil in these sort of conditions because with boats here we couldn't. So that's why it was such an interesting day for us as a team to, to learn what it, what it means. And, and that's why during the day, I think we improved a little bit and there's a huge margin for, for improvement still. How do you feel about sailing in 20 knots of breeze in this boat? <laughs> Will it be a different uh, scenario? Yeah, for sure. 20 knots here in Barcelona means huge waves. So it will be a very different scenario and uh, we need to find those conditions at some stage for sure. That's fantastic. Thank you for sharing. Okay, thank you.